If you're building a seven figure company and you don't have an assistant, you, my friend, are the assistant, right? And you don't want to be, you can be a seven figure old, seven figure CEO and an assistant. Hey, what's up, my friends? It's Marco Russell here, the CEO and co-founder of Strategic Scale Institute. And over the past 10 plus years, we've been helping service-based businesses grow and scale six, seven, and eight-figure companies. And in this particular video, I actually want to walk you through um, five critical hires to scale to seven figures and beyond, right? And these are probably going to be a little bit different um, than what you've heard. So some people are going to tell you to go hire VAs. They're going to tell you to hire salespeople. They're going to tell you to hire a marketing person and all those different things. And if I just went that particular route, um, that would be irresponsible of me. Uh, for many reasons, because I don't really have full context of your business. And if I said that you need to go hire this, this, this and the third to get the seven figures without proper context, it would do you a huge disservice. Right. Um, because, again, I don't know the state of your business and depending on your business, you may not require a salesperson. Right. Um, you may not require a marketing person. You may not. So I, I don't know. Right. Um, so, but I want to give you what I what I think generally speaking could be of service. And again, I'm gonna have some resources in the description section video description section of this video to help you dive deeper into like what could work specifically for your business. Okay. But let's go ahead and dive into the ones that I know are gonna be super helpful regardless, right? So number one is an assistant, an executive assistant. Um, because again, if you're building a seven figure company and you don't have an assistant, you my friend are the assistant. Right. And you don't want to be you can be a seven figure old seven figure CEO and an assistant. So, number one, you want to have an assistant. OK, so that's number one. You want to have an assistant. So our operation director actually started off as a VA and my assistant. and She grew because she's amazing. Um, but again, you want to focus on how do you get out of a lot of the admin stuff that you're doing? That you don't necessarily have to be doing so you can focus on your highest leverage use um, in your business. So that's number one. An executive assistant. Number two um, is a therapist, right? I believe that all CEOs should have a coach and you should have a, a therapist, right? Um, you have a coach and a therapist because, because as you're going as a CEO, you're taking on more stuff. You got more responsibility. You got more stuff going on in your head on a day to day basis. And you actually have to have you actually have to have the tools and the skills and the support to actually process that. And a lot of times you can't go to team members or maybe even your spouse to talk about certain things. So you need to have a safe place where you can actually talk through this and you can actually have somebody who can assist you in the area of your mental and emotional bandwidth and how to process through all that. So I highly recommend having a solid therapist okay so i meet with my therapist every week like clockwork um and it's a total game changer we're able to communicate and talk through things that i may can't go communicate up to somebody else about right so that's number two a therapist number three is going to be a coach right uh a coach or an advisor of some sort right somebody who's been there done that they get the context and they're going to give you some real solid um strategic advice when it comes to growing and scaling your business because again you as a ceo typically everybody's coming to you for advice you to feedback coming to you with their problems and a lot of times you can't transparently share what you what's going on with you and what you may be dealing with okay so you're going to have some type of coach that you can confide in and it's going to um, be able to advise you like as your sherpa like you're climbing this seven figure mountain right or this eight figure mountain depending on where you are in your business um so you want to be be able to have a sherpa that says okay don't step there don't step there or if you do step there and you slip Somebody who can actually help you navigate it and get back on track um, to where you're looking to go. So, it's number, so number one, it's going to be your some kind of executive assistant. Number two is a therapist. Number three is going to be a coach. One hundred percent hands down. Now, when it comes to a sales team, marketing team, you know, coaches or customer service per person, all those different type of things, that's going to vary depending on your business. Right. It's going to be very custom and very nuanced. And again, I'll be respons irresponsible. Oh, let me actually, let me add one more actual hire that I that I didn't say is you're also going to want to have some type of financial person right you're definitely going to want to have some type of financial person um, whether that's a CPA ideally your CPA can actually come in and help with your taxes bookkeeping um, all those things as well maybe even depending on where you are maybe a CFO as well to help you from a strategic standpoint um, from what you do with your finances right so that's gonna be very very important because as entrepreneurs we're typically great at making money but um what we do with it and so forth can sometimes be a whole other thing because it's a totally different skill set and number five i'm gonna say it's some type of health coach right some health coach because what you're putting in your body how much of it is going to be a total game changer for you and your business i got a whole nother video where i break down my personal advisory board um and you can actually pull from some of that as well 
But it's going to be very, very important to make sure you have some type of health and fitness coach to make sure you're putting the right stuff in your body because you as a CEO are an athlete. You're a corporate athlete. So what you're putting into your body on a day to day basis, all that's going to be very, very important. You have the ability to get paid like a professional athlete. So you should want to look like one and be able to perform like one as well on a day to day basis. So those are the five critical hires um, that I highly recommend. I'm hiring as you're on, as you're climbing um, Seven Figure Mountain. I got some cool resources for you in the description section. It's going to help you build a business that's more predictable, more sellable, uh, more profitable, more scalable, more sustainable, and more enjoyable. So go ahead and dive into those resources, and I'll see you in the next video. Talk to you soon.